he wasn't my husband, he was my fiance at that time, but we moved again and he took all of those boxes and put them in my sister's room. And my sister had to say, no, no, those are Paula's. Because he saw Mrs. Sean Cassidy on the side. Well, so even he knows I'm crazy about him. Welcome to the Sean Squad Society podcast. The podcast for all of us teeny boppers who were head over heels in love with our teen dream, Sean Cassidy. We believe that it's time to tell our stories in our words, remembering the first time we discovered Sean. Our podcast will feature stories of concerts, memorabilia, and everything Sean. So come along with us on this journey to share the stories that helped us create the Sean Squad Society podcast with your host, myself, Penny, Dame Madonna, Cindy, and Doris. And thank you from the bottom of our teen dream hearts for making the Sean Concerts Then and Now episode a success. We thought we would do a episode to share some articles from the Sean Concerts in 1978. Today, we are going to share with you some of the behind the scenes interviews from our Kent, Ohio trip. Cindy. Share with us the article you want to read from the concert that you attended in Chicago. Yeah, I went to the Chicago concerts in March of 78. And the Chicago Tribune had a big article the next day with a lot of pictures. And it said something in their article about Sean Cassidy had just made its entrance on stage, ripping his way through a paper screen for a dramatic effect. So, Doris, tell us about a most recent article that you've read that you would like to share with us. That was in the People magazine. First, I want to say, yes, that article was accurate because he did rip his way on stage through a paper ring. But recently, the People magazine wrote, I have a weird career, Sean says, looking back. I had a very explosive first act and then at 21 went into hiding. I don't know what inspired that other than I think I was not necessarily wanting to continue on the path of a performer. Okay, here are the interviews. And if you were in Kent, Ohio, and you heard your interview, please comment and let us know. Hello, and we're here in Kent, Ohio, at the back door of Sean's, um, um, what, did, what did we, sound check, sound check. I was tongue-tied there. And we are now going to interview some of the people hoping to get a glimpse of Sean. So what's your name? Uh, Andrea. Andrea, how long has it been since you've seen Sean in concert? This is the very first time. I'm so excited. Another first-timer. Yes. yes, very much. I'm so excited. Yeah. So, Do you have a favorite memory of Sean? Um, I actually was really little when I started liking Sean from the Hardy Boys. And so I had a huge crush on him for the Hardy Boys and then got into the music later on in my life. Okay, I'm going to talk about your bedroom. <laughs> do you still have posters of Sean and Parker in your room? I do not, unfortunately. Um, I have the monkeys in my room. <laughs> my other favorite band. <laughs> monkeys are good, too. Um, let's introduce your friend here. You want to come on, come friend? On. Hello. And what's, and what's your name? My name is Cheryl, and I'm her aunt. And when was the last time you've seen Sean in concert? Well, I've never seen Sean in concert. Now, David was always my heart throb, and she's always loved Sean because of the Hardy Boys. So I'm, I'm just coming just to have a good time. And she had an extra ticket, and she said, "You want to go to Kent?" And I'm like, "Well, yeah, of course I will." Great. Well, we're so happy you're here. You know where to find us on our podcast. And I, I forgot, what. where are you from? Uh, Coshocton, Ohio. And I'm from Cambridge, Ohio. Well, I looked that up on the map. <laughs> and thank yes, you. your dress is thank beautiful. You and thank you, ladies. Thank so you very much. Thank you very oh, much. Wait, wait, wait. Good luck. Where are you sitting? Like, uh, I have ro We have row G, one oh. and two. Good seats. Good yes. seats. Yes. Well, nice meeting yes, you. Yes, nice meeting you, too. Thank you so uh -huh. much. Thank you so much, ladies. No, wait. you can talk on this. Oh, we don't have to I'm work. from Brighton, Michigan. Brighton, Michigan. Are you a Go Blue fan? I Go am. Wolverines. Go Blue, yes. Na, yes. Na, 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 na. Are you from Michigan too? No, no. but I'm a Blue fan. Yay. Okay. Yes. All right. So yes, when was the last time you saw Sean? So I've never seen him live. Oh. I'm just here. 
bringing my friend and her lifelong dream. Oh, <laughs> that is precious. Yeah, let me make sure. I'm... Every everything, you know, every American Music Award. Every time there was an appearance, and all the posters, all the wall, you and have everything. It all, huh? Oh my God! But my biggest memory of that that year and that concert day is that I had my mom had to write a special note to get me out of school early. Of course, middle school, and I had to go home and prepare. And they came to get me out of school, and all my friends were like, you know, cheering me on for awesome. Sean. We went to the concert, and I cried so hard from the minute that he jumped through that paper hoop to the end of it. I kind of hardly remember it. it well, will tell us. I'm gonna give you a spoiler alert. He's he will him. not jump through a paper. He'll tell you that too. Okay. He'll tell you that. Yeah. It was yeah. the silhouette. It was spectacular. Yeah. But it was spectacular. I, I'm gonna tell you right now, <laughs> no. I think this show might be a little different than it the is. last yes. seven <laughs> weeks. Sure. Yes. So we're just excited. And who's your friend? Angie Wolfile. Well, that is awesome. So how far did you all have to drive? Well, I was about three and a half hours. Yeah. I was about 220. Okay, yeah. so you met here. You didn't come together. No, we met no, here. Yep, yep. We met cool. Here. We came cool. in yesterday. So yep. is there a certain song you're waiting to hear? Oh, my gosh. Just a whole album. Anything and everything. Okay. Honestly, anything and everything. We're just happy to be here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah. we're gonna move over to Beth Ann right now Woo! and see what Beth Ann has. Wait, I know this isn't your first concert since we met in Nashville. Yep. Number two. Number two. So tell us what your favorite part of his show is and what you're looking forward to um, tonight. Well, the first time I was about three seats back and it probably took four songs before I even realized that it was happening. The impact. <laughs> right? It was just a blur. He, he sang Heaven which is like almost my favorite one, and I think it might have been the second one. And it was just totally blue. Today, I'm going to relax, I hope, and enjoy the show. And I get to see all my Sean sisters again, yes, which yes. is the main reason why I came. Yes. And my brother lives a half hour away, so I can yeah. stay with him. You want to know what's crazy is I was um, sitting with my husband while he was getting chemotherapy, and I saw that Sean had a concert in Vegas. So I'm checking it out, and I text my sister who lived in California. We got tickets to go. Chicago had a snowstorm. I did not get to go. So I went to his first show in Chicago at the City Winery. And then my sister goes, did he do this song, this song, this song, this song? And in what order? And I go, I have no clue. That's why I'm going back tomorrow night. So I can remember what happened. You know, I couldn't remember what orders he did the song. Okay, so you mentioned chemo. I'm an eight-year breast cancer survivor. Well, congratulations. Me too. We're the same. Yes. And I would love same to hear Audrey. I wish she would sing that one. Hey, Aww. listen. We just yes. ran into Jill. Jill. John this Cassidy. Is Jill. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, this is what, your sixth or seventh concert? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to rock this house. Yep. <laughs> yep. Well, okay. Well, we are going to conclude this part of our um, podcast right now, but we're going to start up again shortly. Everybody have a great time and say something to Sean. You too. Hey, hey, Sean. Can't wait to see you. Love you, Sean. Okay. <laughs> We just found another friend to talk to. I don't know. He's wearing a shirt that says devils. I don't know what the T is. I just still don't know. But I love your your um your your band on your watch. Yes, baseball fan. But anyway, what's your name? Uh Jim from Tomage. Is that Ohio? Right, yeah. Oh, I got it's like it now. Ten minutes from here. Okay. And um so you're a fan of Sean Cassidy. Yeah, my sister and I were big fans back in the seventies, so you know, the Hardy Boys and yeah. yeah. Is, yeah. is your sister here with you no, tonight? No, she's not. She's from California, but oh. so she's not here. Okay. And is this your first show? Uh, yeah, actually, I don't have tickets. <laughs> oh, you know what? What I'm going to suggest is I know some people who couldn't make it. So hit up the box office and see if they've had any pop-up tickets. Okay. Yeah, so, that's a good idea. So what's your favorite memory of Sean and what's your favorite song? Uh, <laughs> well... The one that really sticks in my mind is to do run run. So, oh, cool. <laughs> but I don't know if that's my favorite or not. But that's the one that sticks in my mind. So, well, just so you know, in his shows, he he will talk do the do run run. Then he'll he'll stop and say, 
No, not really, but he has, he'll he'll tell the story like dad about his daughters. Daddy, why is a do run run? So my question to you is, do you know what a do run run is? Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> no. So does your sister know you're here? If you have to, no, so, she oh, doesn't. She, she doesn't yet. So not yet. <laughs> not yet. Oh, okay. All right. So. Well, any words for Sean in case he listens to the podcast? Uh, just Sean. We all love you, and uh, hope to meet you someday. <laughs> well, I know we all want to meet him. Well, thank you so much, and I hope you get to see the show. All right, thanks. Okay, ladies. Hi. You're not TikToking right now. <laughs> and who are you? Tammy from Indiana. Tara from Indiana. Well, good. Have you guys been to Sean's show yet? 1978. Does that count? That counts. Wait a minute. It's only 45 years ago, two months and 15 days. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> and what about you? No, because um, my friend, my best friend when I was seven got to go and I did not. So she was no longer my best friend. So I have to send her a message tomorrow and apologize. Well, well, you, you guys have a blast tonight, okay? Okay, thank you. <laughs> so, Bethany. Yes, hello. Welcome to the red carpet at the Buffalo Wild Wings. Thank you so very much. I'm so excited to be here. Oh, my God. So we have asked, what are you wearing tonight? I am wearing the official Sean Couture with the autograph heart on it. It is very Sean, but also very subtle. I like that. It doesn't, she got her first doesn't picture. scream it. It's just perfect. So you got your first picture with Sean. Very subtle. And I heard you got a picture with Sean tonight. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was like four feet away. And my friend got the shot, and it's, oh, it's just amazing. Oh He's God. smiling and everything. I am so excited to You're see that picture. Could you smell his aura from where you were? Of oh, course. yes, definitely. My, my 15-year-old self is just bursting with joy right now. It took me 48 years to get here, but I'm here now. Oh, well. <laughs> Hey, Beth Ann, I think the producers are motioning for you right now. It's oh, time for you. They want me? Yeah, me. so yeah. we are going to say go. goodbye. And thank you so much for talking to us on the red carpet. Thank you for everyone who made it possible thank for me to be you, here. Thank you, thank you. Once upon a time, we'll be ours again. Thank you for listening from the bottom of our teen dream hearts. Keep on crushing and have a shantastic week. And make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, threads, and you can contact us at Sean Squad Society at gmail.com. The Sean Squad Society podcast, including past, present, and future versions and its content are owned and controlled by the Sean Squad Society. The views and opinions are solely those of the Sean Squad Society podcast. The Sean Squad Society podcast is written, produced, and recorded in Chicago at the Borden Studios. We may think we are always right, but we will get something wrong from time to time. So we assume no responsibilities for errors or omissions of content.